how has it helped you as an outcome in terms of a before and after impact or effect? Josephine, yeah, we personally want to thank you for your uh, patience, your uh, diligence and uh, the rigor that you have exhibited in making sure you bring out the best in us, right? So one thing that is obvious that has helped us is in consolidating our uh, pricing strategy and, uh, you know, identifying and coming up with the various buckets of pricing and also uh, having the focus on one area of product uh, offering uh, to the customer and uh, trying to excel in that area. I think it was all there in front of us, but throughout the sessions, it uh, became more and more, more clearer for us as to how we need to position ourselves with respect to that particular product. And I think uh, those uh, two are very uh, you know uh, critical for our growth and scale. And I think uh, that has been, uh, in my opinion, the two biggest outcomes uh, through your engagement, uh, Josephine? For me, I would say that fact that we knew that uh, we had to focus on various aspects of our business, right? Uh, sometimes commercialization, sometimes value proposition, like the white space identification, anchoring of the price. I think that just helped reinforce what was in our our mind but something that we had not done with rigor and uh, done it methodically i think this of the homeworks and the fact that we were meeting often right mm -hmm. uh, like you mentioned right i think uh, this made sure that we are staying away from the sand activities and looking at these necessary and uh, compulsory aspects of any business right we it, i think the program helped us focus on these things with rigor if it had not been for this program we would probably have done some amount of it but may not be with the same intensity so i think that was a big uh, value add in fact i would like to say that uh, right now in our day to day vocabulary right we have started using these things so every time something comes up uh, we are immediately asking each other that's that looks like a sand activity i think uh, we should be doing this instead this week. So that is how much it has impacted us, Josephine. Yeah, because the shared language actually between team actually now elevate the way you work because everything is categorized. You know what it means and therefore what is the impact and what is the consequences of that and the action to do with it, yep. right? Yep. Yep. And also, I'm sure that when you see opportunity now of how you see things in the market and things come up to you, you need to how you know how to contextualize it in the sense of what does that mean if it has a strategic impact um, in the yep. model? Is it affecting the value proposition? Is it affecting the customer side? Is it affecting the differentiation side? Is it affecting now you can contextualize those all this discussion and ideas in this way mm -hmm. of framing, right? Yeah. And I would uh, like to say that my favorite uh, parts of this program were uh, really identifying the white space and uh, that whole exercise that we went to uh, went through uh, mapping our competitors, putting up uh, where we stand there. And that was just so reassuring. So even though we had known it, but uh, just going through that, right, was something that gave us uh, even more confidence that, yes, we are truly niche because of this, this reason. Now, anytime anybody wants to know why, we can immediately communicate, see, this is the reason why. So it will look like we have, we built a formula. So that is what, that was one of the, my favorite portions of this program. In addition to the, I think the price anchoring, new various aspects of uh, what it takes to create a business uh, yes. and have written business plans, Correct. created ideas, I've done all that in my MBA. But yeah. it was a long time ago. Uh, so I wouldn't say there was something that was totally new, but this was very hands-on. And uh, I think uh, when the rubber meets the road, right, that is when you can actually experience the friction, right? So I felt that uh, uh, this was very hands-on and that's why I f found this very helpful. Mm. Uh, probably, and this was probably a different experience because when I was doing my MBA, I was uh, working for an AMNC. Right. But here, um, since we were running the show here, so we had more direct applicability and we could relate to every single thing that we read about or uh, we heard about. 
right so this was very hands on and very practical and uh, i think uh, the rigor here also was uh, very helpful so because in the mba program you are usually reading a lot of case studies you are doing a lot of uh, analysis but here you are doing a lot of uh, execution right so i felt that um, this one was uh, more uh, practical and uh, hands on as far as we were concerned so but this is obviously purpose fit for the stage that you are at yep absolutely uh, i felt that the framework was just apt i think it was perfect i think the flow the sequence i mean you start with the customer identifying the core customer characteristic the way it was built right i felt it was just uh, apt and perfect what what would you say to such founders in the beginning of this to to spend the time it is very important that we plan uh, plan our actions before we actually go ahead and execute because it's very easy to get uh, carried away in the execution and uh, you know get on to the operations at all times right it is always hard to make time to strategize how we are going to plan our execution so that uh, you know and clearly strategy is very important the founders uh, in vision i think uh, uh, by uh, forcing ourselves to take time off to attend these sessions with you i think that is what has helped and while uh, we were already strategizing as uh, we, you know as spoken already it gave us more rigor to what we were already doing and uh, i think for companies which are starting a fresh uh, i think uh, this will give a very clear direction so that they can uh, right away march with a very good plan in place to achieve uh, their end goal my comment there is i wish we had uh, done this maybe 3 years ago that would have helped us uh, more tremendously because we were doing many of these things but like i mentioned already right uh, in uh, bits yeah. and pieces and patches and uh, whenever we felt that okay now we really need to focus on this that is when we actually did it rather than have a clear plan from the beginning so i think um, I, i definitely think that some of the other startups in the program right have benefited tremendously easier for us had we done it earlier yeah i think it would have let us uh, focus more on the things that matter the most right you see because uh, always coming up with different superlatives and uh, uh, identifying where the energy should go right is going to be the most valuable uh, way to spend resources in a startup which has constraints in all direction right. people budget time everything right and the market is not conducive all the time for a small companies to go and implement readily and things like that we have numerous challenges right yeah. so when we have so much constraints it is even more important that we really plan how we are going to navigate this maze many of yeah. these things that were taught to us if in clearly we have uh, uh, been through the ropes and learned some experience mm-hmm. so that's where it is going right uh, so uh, it took us time to you know uh, learn uh, learn through the experience so had these been pro- available uh, to us uh, way earlier we would be probably in a correct a different path yeah okay what do you think uh, would be a best practice and suggestion and to recommend to founders to what they should do at the start of the program to make sure that they leverage the best out of this the obvious thing that comes to my mind is definitely make time for it and the more the time spent on all these murals the better it is for strategizing and coming up with the uh, optimal plan for the company this program was aptly paced as well right because even this uh, to be honest with you we had a real difficult time okay uh, through our and we cannot believe that six months has already passed mm. okay so we had i mean the i think the amount of course work and the loading was just right anything more would have been even more difficult for us and uh, anything less would have meant uh, the intensity also would have been lost so i think the spacing uh, the pace was just right mm. and we need that much time as well because most of us uh, i mean this is mainly aimed at startups right and uh, it, like you already mentioned there are a million things uh, to do at any given time so it is um, they have to do the necessary trade off and uh, make sure their business does not suffer completely also you cannot the founders cannot disappear and go into a boot camp mode for uh, yeah. months yeah. or together right that's also not practical 
Yeah. So I think yeah. this space was uh, perfect. And uh, one more thing I'd like to add, Josephine, is we really appreciated the fact that it was a one-on-one mentoring session. We have been through similar programs, which are more classroom style, mm-hmm. where we felt that uh, it was not that effective at all. Um, that was more like an MBA class again, uh, classroom style. Where yeah, there are a bunch of things uh, talked about, but uh, unless and until you apply it to your situation, right, you will take time to internalize so this was the most effective method and this is what uh, i would like to say to anybody who wants to who's thinking about or considering this program right uh, that this is uh, highly effective because it's tailored to I- I- the individual startups need and no two startups are like no two people are like so the thought processes uh, everything uh, matters in the outcome of the program like this so i uh, this one on one session is something that i really like the most from our point uh, we were very clear on uh, the roi of us spending time in this program and that's why we were fully committed to it and i think uh, we have absolutely no regrets at all and like i mentioned we are going to be using these thought processes for every new idea or any other business or any other advice i mean people have approached us for uh, advice as well uh, recently I had somebody from germany who was referred to by another uh, colleague of mine and uh, he had a lot of questions and then while i was chatting with him right it made me realize that okay see i am able to distill things um, so much better okay and i think uh, this is definitely going to have that kind of a network effect oh, it, it, oh, now you are using <laughs> another new term that you learned <laughs> so it is it is uh, definitely given us more confidence to approach any new business ideas Thank you.